How do you evaluate a game like that, Ryan, uh, where there's plenty of positives, but I would imagine as a coach you're kind of looking at the finer details. How do you evaluate it? It was nice to see some guys score some goals. I will say that. Um, and, I, and I think when, when you look at games like that, you're looking for um, guys to, I guess, keep their foot on the pedal, but doing it the right way. So you don't, even at this stage of the game, September 24th, it doesn't matter if it's September 24th or March 15th. Like you want them to learn how to do it the right way. Second period, I thought we got work tonight. They were more competitive, and I thought we got better in the third in regards to how we were skating away from pucks. So that's something for us to build on game like that do for Matthew Coronado or at least what do you hope it does? Um, Just confidence or more? Yeah, he should feel good. I mean, we know he's a shooter and like his third goal in particular, that's a goal scorer's goal. So uh, I'm happy for him. You know, I, I think when he went to Penticton, he was probably, well, you could tell by the first game that he played, he was trying to do everything all in his first shift. Um, and sometimes, you know, when you try to do too much, it's, it kind of goes the other way. Um, but tonight it was nice. I thought he, he was one of our more competitive guys for the full 60 minutes. And um, his second goal, quick release, third goal was like right under the bar. So good for him. He should feel good about himself. There's some positives and some obvious, uh, but is there something maybe that you noticed that maybe we wouldn't below the radar things that this person did something that really stood out for Matthew. you? No, just any player in general that caught your attention that was a little under the radar that you saw some really good things from. Austerly was one for me. I thought he was excellent on the back end, and it looked like him and Chris had played together for quite a while. So that was a positive for me. Um, you know, there's it's it's hard in a game like that. It, there, there was some good individuals for sure. There was some guys that you want to see a little bit more out of, uh, even on a night like tonight. But they'll get another chance here. We have two games tomorrow, so they'll get another opportunity to go again. I'll obviously see Matthew's shot, and I mean, yeah. it, 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 it's incredible to watch. But I mean, for those of us who might not understand sort of the technical side, I mean, is it the release? Is it the accuracy? Like, what is it that makes it so dangerous? Yeah, I, I, the release is one thing for sure, but the technical side, I don't really know. Some guys can shoot the puck. Like, I remember Brett Hull, he can hit it from anywhere, in front of him, behind him, anywhere. So some guys have a gift that they just know how to hit a puck, and I think he's one of them. But if you were to look at his second goal today, it just luckily popped to him but it was on and off of his stick in a hurry so goaltenders don't get a chance to get set and when you can shoot it hard like he can um, that makes a, a goal score for sure. The things that you guys have started to implement in the first couple of days of training camp did you start to see some of that on the ice and the competitive form that you were happy with? Yeah a, f a few times and then a few times there's most definitely some things that we need to work on absolutely um, you know we spent a little bit too much time in our own zone. Guys are trying to sort things out a little bit, and I think we can play a faster team game than what we played. So those are all things where you have to work together a little bit longer before you can really connect all the pieces. And Mark seems like he's a pretty vocal guy on the bench when he's talking through guys on the power play. Is that something that you, you like to see as a head coach, that communication between player and coach as the game's going on? Yeah, for sure. I mean, he had, um, you know, in games like this, he, there's always a third unit, so he's he was ready for it, which was nice. But I I kind of would compare him to a little bit like Jacob Pelche. He's always he's always talking, so he's got a good energy to him. Um, and I and I think it was nice to see our power play move the puck around like it did tonight, both units. And I know the the main big unit wasn't out there all that much, um, but if you want to call it the second unit, they moved it around really well, and that's nice to see. How does the quality of competition tonight affect some of the things you're able to take away from a game like tonight? It's hard because, uh, you know, you get up a few goals, the other team changes a little bit, and most definitely what you want to guard against is your team changing, but it happens. It's I think it's human nature at times, but, uh, you know, it, as I said, finding a way to get some guys to feel good about themselves early on is a good thing, um, but... Um, you know, it's the way exhibition is. We'll go to Seattle with a different lineup than what we'll have at home. So it, it's it's just kind of the way it works right now when you play so many games in a short period of time. Did you, did you notice, Ryan, sort of a different energy level early on in the game on the bench or players talking amongst themselves maybe compared to what you've seen here previously? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't even know how to answer that one really, to be honest with you. there's They were excited to play tonight, but I think a lot of that has to do with guys that haven't played for a long period of time. Um, and wanting to get off to a good start. So the guys were ready to play tonight, which was something that we're gonna need to do. We talk a, um, a lot about trying to be a, a first period team where this is a difficult place to play in here. So we wanna make sure when teams come in, um, they know the way we're gonna play and they have to make sure they're ready for that. 
any update on Dennis Gilbert after leaving the game? Um, he's okay. I mean, that's the the good thing. We won't see him in a game tomorrow or the next day, but he's okay. What did you think of the crowd reaction to uh, Coronado's hat trick? Uh, it's funny. You have uh, there's always people that the crowd pulls for, and there's Matthew's most definitely one of them. Um, so as I said before, it's nice to see him have that night, but. The real challenge now is the consistency. So he's got to, I'm not saying he's going to get a hat trick every night, but he wants to have an impact like that. And then a lot of it has to do with him moving his feet to get in spots where he can shoot the puck. You're okay with the fact there was only like under 10 hats thrown on the uh, it's, I'm sure if he were to do that way towards the end of the year, there would be a lot more than 10 hats. One question for me, Ryan. That, that skill set that Coronado brings, is that something that this team really lacked last year and, and could really use that, that kind of game breaker guy that fits for when you need a goal? Yeah, I, I don't know if we lacked it last year. Like you look at Jonathan's two goals today, those were goal scorer goals as well. They were right under the bar. So I, I don't know if we lacked it. I think just having a push from some others than the guys that you always expect to score goals or to be involved in the offense is a really good thing for our team. Is there anything to a guy like say Huberto comes into the season, wants to be in a positive frame of mind, yeah. happy, enjoying being here? Yes, it's a preseason game against the Abbotsford Canucks, but to get that kind of a start, is that a springboard that you really wanted to have? You, I've, you want to feel good when you leave the rink about your effort, no matter what time of year it is, whether, as I said, September 24th or it's the Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. If you can walk out of the rink knowing that your effort was where it should be, um, then you're going to be in good shape. So that's the biggest thing. Whether you score or don't score, if the effort is there, the compete is there, um, and the pace that we're trying to play at is there, you can leave the rink win or lose feeling good about yourself and know that, hey, didn't work for me today, but the next day it probably is if I do the same thing. So he, he falls in that category for sure.